Do 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 Sunny day, so nice for a walk. This is where we go. Do 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 do. Lovely day in Sedona. Can't beat it really. No, no. There we go. Look at those tourists going right there. There's uh, Chipotle, the uh, cheapest restaurant in Sedona. Also, I never knew this was called Forest Plaza, too. I never looked at the sign. I saw the sign. I opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Ain't never gonna get it, it, do 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 where we belong. You know that we belong. Do 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 do. Oh, hello, everyone's on. How are you doing? Dunkirk on today. Mike Henderson, Kyle Coffey. How is everyone doing today? Back home. There we go. There's there's a thumbnail right there. There we go. Parking for Forest Plaza customers only. Okay, we're good. All right, Mum already went in. She's hungry. Oh, is that mom? No, I see mom straight ahead. She's looking down at the traffic. There we go. Ernesto Landeros. Dunkirk has things going in uh, Ireland today. Here we go. There's a little taste of home. There's a Vespa. I think. A Chelsea. You don't see those very often. There we go. It's a scooter, though. No, not a Vespa. Some kind of generic, I think. There we go, it doesn't have that Italian quality. They know how to make stuff. They know how to make machines. Hello, puppy! How are you doing, puppy? Bongo! I'm no bongo, I'm bingo, dongo. Singo? <laughs> dingo. That's me. There we go, dingo, do you hate me? You skip me entirely. Oh no, puppy, I love your provocative comments. Always so provocative. So there's mum. Mum's hanging out. Hey everybody! There we go, we're back on. There's mum. Guess what? See the vault? Yeah. When Dingo was in Vegas, I went to the vault. Oh yeah, so pricey. I love that place. So. It's got a great vibe. It's not too expensive. I know Dingo think it is, but he... Out it's not $5. Outrageous. Yeah, no, it's not outrageous. But anyway, um... It's got a great vibe, and we gotta go in there one day. I mean, it's just have an appetizer at the bar because it's real. It's got a great view. Uh, Chipotle view, mom. Yeah. Ten dollar rose, yeah, all I the salad have, you can eat. Yeah, just a little fit up with the Chipotle. No, it's fantastic. It's fabulous there, mom. There we go, puppy Dingo. You're all spicy beast. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, we gotta move because it's three thirty. I know they're gonna close the chapel. We gotta uh, we gotta eat our gross burrito and then go right to the chapel. Hello, David Collum, how are you doing? It's a great place if you guys are here. I recommend it highly. There we go, the vault. It's a great vibe. How much is a how much is an entree? Um, like the burgers are like 20 bucks. Oh my god. But that's normal, that's <laughs> 20 is outrageous. Normal. It's funny, I was watching the movie Sense of a Woman the other day. That's when the appetizers are 20. The movie Sense of a Woman is from the early 90s, 92, I think. And uh, De Niro takes takes a friend to Manhattan, you know, and they order a hamburger in like this restaurant where the waiters are dressed in tuxedos and stuff. And the hamburger is eight dollars. And uh, the guy's like, eight dollars for a hamburger? This is insane. This better be the best hamburger I ever ate. And now we got on 20 years on, 30 years on, and uh, we got $20 hamburger roos. Then you have to be in Manhattan, you know. How do I feel about Dotson? Dotson, Dotson. Hello, Paul Smith, how are you doing? So get the rice. Get the rice. Get the rice. What am I, at a Chinese restaurant? This is Chipotle. Hello, salad please. Yeah. And can I get two tortillas on the side? There we go. White rice and brown. Uh, we'll go for the white rice. Oh yeah, there we go. Go for the pinto beans, please. And your protein? I uh, will go for the chicken. 
Mm. Yum. And can I get some veggies on there too? Possible? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Mild, medium, hot. Boom. Uh, corn. Can we go for the corn? Yum. And I guess uh, pico. What, what sauces do we get? I forgot. Not the hot one. This Not the hot one. No. Okay. Do you and want the medium? The medium? Yeah. Yeah. Go for all of those? All right. Well, it's loaded up. The salsas that we make are good, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a bowl of lettuce. I mean, we're talking about here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else here? I'll go for the cheese, please. Okay. And uh, I reckon, I reckon we're good. What about tortillas? Right, uh, they're coming, they're coming. And no, it's a chicken salad. Chicken salad. Okay. Chicken salad. All right, let me put this down over here. Okay. Doop -a -doop -boop. Are you doing so? I haven't seen you in a little bit. I know, it has been a while, hasn't it? How are things going? Boom, boom. What do you get? Oh, I got a chicken al pastor bowl. Chicken al pastor bowl? This guy's a pro. Here we go. Any drinks today? Oh, have a nice day. Ultimate, ah, that's hot. Ooh, ah, burning, burning my hand actually. Ouch. The pain, the pain will not subside. Ouch. Ah, ooh, ooh those are some hot tortillas right there, you know. Yep, hot. Oh, who's that? Is that a super I see? Vance, $20. Vance. There we go. Also, Vance, I want to thank you officially for the coffees after the last stream in Vegas. Vance, how many coffees was it? I think 20 coffees. I think, Vance, you got 20 coffees. Delighted, Dingo Lou, we could not do it. Executive producer, Vance Grady, and the $20 today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We could not do it without you, Vance, you know. For lunch or for fun, Vance JB and Roseanne. Hello, Vance JB and Roseanne. How are you doing today? Executive producers on the Dingo channel. Roseanne, you're in? Thank you so yes. much. Yes, Lance, darling. Where is mom? Mom is right, right here, darling. Hi, Tess. Oh, there we go. I don't know, is the water Yes, today? yes, I just, you know what? I just couldn't deal yeah. with it. And you know, that's one of the few times that we've been apart for holidays, which was, it was Easter. But I went to the vault next door, and I have to tell you, that place is really nice. Doesn't compare to Wicked Spoon, great, great vibe. Oh, I had a great meal. I had the seafood combo. It was lobster, shrimp, uh, and scallops. Lobster. Oh, it was gorgeous. Lobster, shrimp, and scallops. Mm -hmm. Sounds pricey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. I went to Wicked Spoon. It was the same as your Wicked Shit. Spoon. <laughs> What was it saying? 65? 65. There you go. Mum looks so good, Vance. Oh, they, thank uh, you. Oh, I'm, 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 the, I'm the toothless wonder now. I don't know if you've been in when I got... And there you go. There's Vance. Love you, beautiful Mum. Oh, thank you. There we go. Mum's back on the stream. We got Mum back. But we really got to go over there because it's got a great vibe. We're playing nice music. There's no music on here today. That's a good thing. I usually get copyright playing. <laughs> Hello, Joshua Meadows. Hello, Bob and Mom from sunny Cottonwood. Cottonwood? Well, oh, you're close. Wow. We're, uh, we're very close. Cot I've... Cottonwood is like Sedona Junior, you know. Oh, no. You go down the hill, you gain about 10 degrees, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't say Junior. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're senior, though, Mom. We're senior, you know. No, no. <laughs> Should we get to Mom? Um, do you want some dressing for this? What do you think? This is really nice the way it is. Oh, it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, once again, Vance, thank Mom, you so much. it is Tess. And the vibe is nice and everybody kind of, you know what I mean? I'm Better gonna... than the Wicked Spoon. I don't think so. Well, the thing I find with the with the uh, the big buffies and, and Beatty is that, you know, there's just so many people and everybody's just back and forth trying to get their thing. There's not... Words, True. You know? And you're fighting the clock. We're just here, people are very friendly, you're talking, oh, I love your hat, more than I bought it, and, you know, and... 
a family with kids came in and they were. Make us all. What do you want? Get on out of here. <laughs> and um, I, I showed them Snoopy Rock and the kids. They don't know what Snoopy is. That, just, that generation doesn't know Snoopy. <laughs> Do they not know Snoopy? <laughs> really? What's well, funny because Snoopy is not my generation either, no. but I know who he is. He was on TV a lot. They didn't know they had Even to reruns? ask their mother who really? Snoopy is. So Snoopy's officially out. When they were all like, you know, eight, you know, years old, ten, you know, that was a lot, a lot of children. Interesting. Four children. Like I said, Snoopy is actually, he's really from the 60s. But when I was a little fella, Snoopy was still on TV a lot. You know, the pumpkin, the magic pumpkin, or whatever that Halloween movie. But in the 60s, I was in Scotland, but I was aware of who Snoopy was. Wow, okay. Snoopy's out. Yeah. Right. They got to rename. That's going to be. That's uh, the TikTok formation right there. There we go. They'll know that one. That's the Kardashian rock. That's the Kardashian <laughs> rock. <laughs> they all know the Kardashians, but the they Car- don't know. Do they know the Kardashians? I, I feel like I they're know. old too. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what I love watching? I love watching. Um... Hi there, Los Sanita. Los Sanity. Sorry. Los Sanity. Oh, hi, Freddie. Hello, Freddie the Fly. How are you doing? There we go. What's up, Bob? You know, just hanging out. It's a beautiful, beautiful oh, day oh. in Sedona. Mm. So beautiful. Great day for a walk. We've got to go to the chapel for sure, you know. It's 73 degrees. Roseanne. Roseanne. Hi, Mom and Dingo. Hi, Roseanne. Roseanne. How's your daughter doing? There we go. Mom. Mom keeps up. There we go. Maybe next time Bob was fun. There we go. What was that? Maybe next time. Ah, uh, Freddie, we were uh, we were in Vegas the same time. We missed out on meeting with Bob. Oh no! I know you messaged me, but that was a quick. I it was an in and out. I only I had so little time. I literally. It was like that. I it, only got in the pool one day. I, two days. One day and then like a thirty minute the next day. It was like a, <laughs> it was like the burger in and that out. That was fast. You know, Snoopy had emotional and ancestral trauma before Charlie rescued him. (laughs) (laughs) Happy, you're funny. That would be the remake of Snoopy. (laughs) He's transitioning too. Oh no, please stop. I'm not going to have Tranny stuff coming through. If PBS made a Snoopy today, that's what would be going on, you know. (laughs) I think all that Tranny stuff's coming through the screeching (laughs) hall. I think we've all had enough of people's mentally disturbed. You know, it's not right. I don't know. They're me- doubling. They keep doubling down. If, I mean, it's not right to be mentally disturbed. Just do it in private. I don't want to see you going through your neurosis in, in, in public. I don't you know. know. Have you turned on CNN? I think they're doubling down every I'm, time they can. They just keep doubling and doubling. You well, know? CNN's going under. <laughs> <laughs> Supported by the state. We go, puppy. Mother, have, mother, mother. Have you seen the latest studies news that? Sperm counts worldwide will reach zero by 2045. I mean, you know why? I'll tell you why. First of all, here we go, Mom, laying on them. Guys, don't let anyone tell you there's such a thing as such toxic masculinity. There is no such thing no. as toxic masculinity. That's rubbish. Mm-hmm. Now, toxic femininity, we got plenty of that. Hey, uh. No, there's no toxic femininity. There's toxic personalities. Hey, uh. There's toxic personalities, but no, no. Oh. There's my weekly mountain view. Let me uh, position it. For the reason why this firm counts are down, I'll tell you why. Wait on them, Mom. It's this whole vegan shit. And they started out, you know, with this, you know, you know, oh, look, check into your feminist I No. That's my job as the woman. I check into the femininity. It's the guy's job to check into the masculinity. Thank you. Thank you. I have an axe, you know, I put on my plaid. I don't want my guy to be feminine. Mm -mm. No. That's my job. (laughs) And, um, but anyway, it started with that. Then they started with the, uh, you know, vegetarian. Why? Because grass fed beef directly contributes to the production of testosterone. So all that vegan stuff, all that soy, Soy depletes, it depletes, it interferes with the production of, of, of testosterone, but it also interferes with the ability to think because it depletes the fatty acids in your brain. So that's what, so that's what this is all about. This has been going on for 30 years, trying, you know, and this trashing of men, trashing of masculinity, trashing of testosterone. That's the reason why. So let me tell you how you can counteract Here we go, Mom, lay it on them. 
Yeah, it's very easy, guys. Eat 10 steaks a day. <laughs> Grass-fed beef. Eat your grass. That's why they're, that's why they're, they're trying to get rid of, uh, of the beef industry. <laughs> it's because they're afraid of masculinity. That's why. That's the only reason why they're doing it. So you eat your grass-fed beef. Get six hours of sleep a night. I mean, eight hours, excuse me. Get eight hours of sleep a night, and I know for Or nine, time. like me. Bingo style. He's been nine since the day he was born. Bingo style. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with his talking about. Oh, yeah, eating meat makes us healthy. Indeed, that. But grass -fed. Have you ever seen, like, look at a vegan next to, like, a, um, a paleo? Tell me which one looks healthier. Oh, I mean, be honest. Be honest so, right you know, here. The either. whole soy boy thing? Okay. Look at countries where they consume mostly soy. Look at the men. The men, they're short, they're huh. puny, they're muscleless. Uh-oh, which country are we talking about? Uh, well, no, the ones that eat a lot of soy, oh, yeah. They're okay. hairless. They're not, you know, robust. And that's the reason why. So, that's what I say. Uh, eat your grass-fed beef. Oh, it has to be grass-fed beef. Sorry. It has to be grass-fed because that otherwise interferes with the... Anyway, grass-fed. Get eight hours of sleep and stop consuming soy and corn. Corn contributes to the to the uh, interference uh, of, of the production of testosterone. Oh, we eat corn so, right now, Mom. Well, no, you can you can eat a little bit of corn, but I'm saying, you know, you need to cut down on it. I mean, corn it on the cob is also it's a different breed than the um, the stuff that they fortify food with. It's a different type of corn. No, all corn. Yeah, it was interesting. Oh. Did you know the meat is boss exactly raw ground? Go down. Did you know that corn is a type of grass? And it was actually the, it was the American natives, abos, the abos. Um, the American they, abos. The American abos, they bred the grass. You know like when you see grass in your garden, it's got like a little shoot on it? And like a thing at the top, like a little pod? That's basically what a corn on the cob is, uh, a baby. So they bred that until it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so corn is actually a giant grass. Kind of fascinating. I thought so anyway. So, meat so is boss, Roseanne. Thank you. When you I go guys? on a cruise, I mean steaks every day. <laughs> we eat a lot of meat at home too. I mean, I like. Um, uh, I mean, I like fish. I'm a big fish eater. The only problem is meat's expensive, but oh, we're, we're talking to outlaw because they don't. They are afraid of masculinity. Indeed. So guys. Eat up. We need you. We need you to protect our country. There we go. We need you to be men. We don't need you to be soy boys. Keep talking, Mom. I can take a break here from my talking. You I go up talking, so you're on it now. <laughs> Does chicken count as meat? There's something to do with beef directly related to the production of testosterone. Okay. Beef. That's why they're trying to get rid of the beef industry. I mean, notice that. Hello, Diana McMahon. How you doing? They did that when they did the uh, in the UK. That was like a test run when they came down with the whole Mac cow shit. Yeah, you don't kill an entire. I mean, you know they actually they kill every single every single cow heifer in the UK. Every single one over that. It was nonsense. No, no, no. That cow is legit. Oh. It's also un, un, it's un, it's a mad cow is such an odd quote unquote disease. It's a mutated protein. It's not. Um, because they don't. It's not fightable in any way. The reason why they got it is because they're feeding the cows grain. They're not letting them. Oh, those are wood. I, I mean, the leather. I didn't notice that before. Oh, what's your problem? The seats are fancy. right. Fancy. Oh, all fancy of the ultra boats. They caught the mad cow by not feeding, letting the cows, you know, um. It was like a. Rome free. It was a neurological degenerative disease. Caused by cannibalism. Yeah. <laughs> well, also they're shooting up the animals with all this thing. I mean, what makes humans sick make makes animals sick. Well, it's kind of like all the uh, I didn't, I didn't, all the all the dogs in Western society. They're getting um, they're getting uh, human diseases. So all the dogs in America, they're getting arthritis, diabetes, high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. 
because they, they live like we do. They eat what we do. Well, oh, after dog food, you know, you shouldn't give your kids, uh, your dog some uh, dog food. Because what's that made of? It's the food that's not fit for human consumption, so they give it to animals. So it's, it's okay, though. It's the, no, Save it's the good food for us. You know. Well, no, it's diseased and stuff like that. We need it. Well, that's why your dog getting sick. Mm -hmm. They drink out of the toilet, Mom. They can handle it. Hi, Billy the Kid. Well, the toilet's just water. I know, and they love it. Toilet water. That's fine. There you go, Billy the Kid. How are you doing? How are you? You missed my rant about masculinity. I know, you missed about, uh, I don't know, where's that, 15 minutes of that? Not bad. You can keep going, Mom. Keep rolling, rolling on it. Well, you talk, I take five over here, so I don't mind. You know? Oh, well, I talk, you eat it all. I did too much talking, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? You still hungry? I'm actually kind of hungry today. But I didn't have any breakfast. There we go. Oh, um, Roseanne, Mom's going to approve of that comment. Trying to put mRNA yeah. garbage shots in cows and well, animals. That's why I don't eat pig anymore because they've been shooting up the pig for like five years now. Roseanne, and they're trying to do the same with the. With the with the cow, but they're just trying to eradicate the cow industry, I mean, the beef industry completely. Because it directly, it's directly related to production of testosterone. No, it's not thought out. Oh yeah. And there you go, Billy the Kid, I saw the eclipse yesterday, pretty cool, here in Austin. So Billy the Kid, were you right on the, you were right in the path, the path or whatever? I can't believe how much coverage the eclipse got. It seems like there's eclipses I mean, every year. I don't know. I mean, we know don't, we've seen lots of eclipses. There's so and I'm many. like, everybody's going crazy about an eclipse. I'm like, what? They had 24 hour coverage on the news. They were telling I people, mean, don't were, look at the sun. Don't look at it. Don't stare at the and sun. And then they were like sending the military out to the Niagara Falls and other <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like, what? I mean, people got mad. <laughs> There we go. Have I, Nick Papa Giorgio. I'm going to need to see some ID, Nick. I'm going to need to see some ID. We have been in the one of the total. We have. We've never seen 100% coverage, though. Do we have? No, we haven't. In 2017? It wasn't 100%. We never seen the total darkness, so. We did. He didn't remember. I remember. You can stare at, at, at the path of totality, yeah. You know, it's funny, if you see a partial eclipse, even like 99% coverage, it still is like you're staring at the sun. Oh yeah. Even the 1% right on the edge is a lot of brightness. Yeah. Kind of funny, you know. The, yeah. sun, the sun is so much energy. It's kind of funny when you think about it, you know. Everything on the planet Earth, all this right behind us, everything that's living, alive, all the energy, it's all from the sun. And that's what these 100 percent And what the, the lunatics are trying to do, you know, the Department of Defense and their, you know, weather engineering, is they're trying to prevent the sun from shining on the earth. Well, you know what that means. Everything needs sun. No, literally. <laughs> even the oil you need sun to survive. Oil is photosynthesis. Right. Oil is actually sun energy that was converted by plants a million years ago. Everything on Earth, all the energy is from the sun. All of it. And they're trying to stop the, the air And it's really getting... amazing. It's 100 billion miles away. You go outside, you can still feel it. The heat from it. 100 billion miles away. So your cat was freaking out. What was your cat doing? <laughs> there we go. Billy the kid. What's your kitty do? Kitty, kitty. Yeah, I'll have a clips outside. Now. Don't be mewing. You are going to wake up high. Are you done with this there, Mom? Yes. There we go. We should probably think about. Should we anything. roll? I, don't, I mean, roll. I don't want it to rush, but it is quarter to four. We're, we've got another ten minutes. To... Ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, they walk up those gates. But anyway, what did your cat do, Billy? There you go. He was meowing uncontrollably. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you tell Kitty to be quiet, John? He's going to wake up high by the kitchen. Why are you mewing? What with all the mewing, yeah? You have never seen Eclipse Kitchen, no? Maybe we go to the vault for, for dessert after. <laughs> I'll 
pay. No. I doused that dog with three hemp chewables. <laughs> what are you giving your, uh, you, get, you trying to get your dog high there? Is that what you're doing? Having a dog party, you know? Is that what you're doing there? Yeah. Is there any equivalent to catnip for dogs? I don't know. No, catnip is odd. Only cats have that. Yeah, the... Also, I think you can give it to a lion too. Catnip? Really? They'll respond too. Really? Yeah. Wow. Only, only felines though. That would be interesting. Very. To see. Yeah, kitty, kitty, yum. It is best shown in Las Vegas with the catnip. That would actually be very interesting. That would be hilarious. See the, the lions just walking around. There you go. The birds outside seemed a bit nervous. Yeah. Yes, the birds. I thought the birds even here were acting a bit. I think it was very overcast. It was, it was cloudy yesterday, so we couldn't see it anyway. Yeah, we couldn't see anything. No. But I got the vibe, and, and I think the birds got the vibe because they were getting a They were a bit. Um, they don't like usually, it. when it's overcast here, the birds are quiet. You know, because they think it's going to rain or something. But um, they weren't. They were. I agree with you with the birds. There we go. I'm an expert on dogs. Dogs love fish. What does that mean? I don't know. Sounds like. Some sort of euphemism. I don't okay. There we go. It was a surreal experience. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The, oh, they love the. Cat so Billy the kid was it like nighttime? The hundred percent coverage was it nighttime? Kind of. That dark. I don't know. Whatever. It was cloudy yesterday in Sedona, so we didn't see it. We, didn't, we didn't see anything. So. It's like twilight. I remember we seen one because I remember you once saying to me. I don't know where we were, but I know he was saying to me, why is it so dark outside? And I said it was the eclipse. Oh, there you go. You were asking about catnip for dogs. Okay, okay. Here we go. My cats like to eat the catnip. I know catnip. This drug for drugs for cats, you know. All right, so we go... Got a roll, I suppose. Well, I think we should start. We gotta, we gotta eat and run. Yes, right. we don't like to eat and run. We like y'all to check in. And, but it does shut it fine. I know, and they, they lock that gate. To come down here on Sunday. There we go. The Catholics, they don't like uh, they don't like to leave the gates open. But Sunday is so busy here. You know. Yeah. So. There we go. Here in our Ohio, our porch lights came on. Yes, like nighttime. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We don't go out on the weekend because that. Uh, oh, Poppy, tell us about your date. I still have to do a bit on that. <laughs> but if she ever sees it, then she'll be super pissed. Why did you take down all the the? Uh, You're super pissed. The perverted uh, bits. They're not down. They're up. I changed the thumbnails. So we got a got a dog giving a big hug now on there. You know, the rooftop raver. Oh man, it was fun. Let me tell you. We don't have those in Sedona. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. Hello, T. Lopez. How are you doing? There we go. It never seemed to be like night, but uh, definitely the light was dim. The light was dim. Well, like I said, without 100% coverage on the... Can we just throw that out? You don't want to top it up? There we go, Josh Meadows. I still can't believe the triggered lesbians who went off on you. Yeah, that was, uh... The boy, that was odd. Very. Oh, well. There we go, why not? <laughs> yeah, I know, Josh, the triggered lesbians, they really, they harsh my vibe, you know. I was having such a good time. And then there's... And then there's bloody lesbians, you know, had to go all off on me. <laughs> oh me, oh my.
Here we go, Billy the Kid. I think it was the first time I ever saw the eclipse at 100%. Okay. 100% is rare. You gotta be right, right in the path. I think the path is 500 miles wide or something. There we go, Bob, what's the craziest negative interaction you've ever had doing a stream? On par with the they thems. <laughs> uh, the most negative interaction? I mean, it would. It's either. I don't get very many. No, I mean it would. It would. It's got to be Fountain Blow security or Dish Network security. That's it. Individuals never really go off on me. It's pretty rare. Uh, I've had a few. You know what it was? It, it, it is these stupid freaking women who think they can just go around intimidating everybody, but especially guys. I mean, they've lost their mind, these women. Well, she was like a butch lesbian, and she's trying to push me around. And I'm like, you're like a chihuahua barking at a Rottweiler, you know. I could just push you over. Like, you think you're going to stop me from doing anything I don't want to do? I, I'm curious on your reasoning on this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're no threat to me in any way, and uh, if I want to walk there, I'll just walk right over you, so yeah. They're just rude, <laughs> stupid. Nobody raised them. They're uh, feral. That's they for true. They don't know how to behave. That's for true. You know, they don't know what the social norm is. Oh, it's oh wi look at wishbone. Is that wishbone? <laughs> I don't think they get the reference, Mom. <laughs> What's the story, Wishbone? Let's wag another tail. <laughs> Wishbone was everybody's generation. There we go. Yeah, I saw you there with the furries dancing. Too much fun. Oh, it was so much fun. So much. Look at Sedona. Oh, it's beautiful today. Beautiful. What's the story, Wishbone? Do 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 do. I, I gotta get eggs before we. Uh... Oh, there's a bunch of memberships. Who bought the memberships? Oh, there's a bunch of big dingo energies. Who was it? I bet it was T, T Tilly. Tilly is Tilly T in? She loves doing that. Oh, I, oh, someone says way to go, Tilly. Told you. <laughs> T <laughs> I haven't even seen a comment hey, from thank Tilly. You, Tilly. Tilly, are you in, Tilly? All right, we got to uh, we got to run to the uh, uh, to the uh, chapel. Well, we, I guess we were Thank you for the memberships. Was it Tilly? Tilly, how are things going in the UK? Yeah. All right, thank you so much for just spreading the love on the Big Dingo Energy. All right, for everyone who just got gifted, amazing Big Dingo Energy, do not let it go to waste. Okay, you have to. Oh, look, they turned that place into a, a liquor store. Got a liquor store? Hmm. Sedona's oh, going not... downhill. Okay. Well, there not... goes the neighborhood. Well, you know, there's a lot of alcohol consumption down. I know the. The old ones, that's how they the do The groceries them. here in Sedona have the biggest liquor sections I've ever seen. Yeah. Anyway, Tilly, thank you so much. Keep those lights on it, Dingo Lou. Keeping them on in for everyone who has just gifted the amazing gift of Big Dingo Energy. I was born with it. You got it for the low, low price of free. Not even one dollar, Don't let it go to waste. Don't let it go to waste. You got the Big Dingo Energy. Use it. There we go, puppy. I didn't get a gift. Are you already? You might already be a. Uh, you might. Uh, you, a you, may, you may already have the big bingo energy. You know they're. they're I really, know they're tearing into they it. They really are taking that mountain down. Well, they're trying to make it you more know, useful. I, I, you know, we we actually looked at a lot up here, um, on top of that hill. I would be concerned if I had a house at the top. It's of amazing that, hill. that the hill has no structural integrity. It's all. It's all. Well, uh, and the sandstone is it's all very. Well, it's not even sandstone. It's like dusty sand. It's sandstone. Sandstone's very uh, uh, crumbly. You know, it. Uh, it's not like uh, limestone. We get no. limestone up in Flagstaff. What is that for official use? City of Sedona's got a uh, got a pickup truck. Watch the story, wishbone. All right, not so much traffic today. Thank God. Oh, wait till we go down here. There we go. Did you ever get your drink on the roof? 
Now on the roof you had to pay for drinks. In the room parties I got them for free. Did you go to the room party? Yeah. Oh. The booze is free, Mum. Free. What's going on there? Oh, fun. Fun on the barn, let me tell you right there. Oh, man. Lord. A lot of fun. So much fun. So much. You obviously didn't watch the stream. I talked about it, but... No, I didn't watch the stream. So, the, way, so the way the furries do it, they... Every room has, like, a DJ and a bar. Like, all of them. So, well, they space them out a bit so there's not too much noise. So you walk in, there's a DJ with lights, the whole thing, turntables, and there's a bar that's open and free. And it's just through the generosity of the furries. They just want to uh, have a party, and they give away the booze. It's bloody dingo style, you know? There we go. A talk show lady blamed the eclipse on global warming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not surprised, these though. These people are really, I mean, they're... <sighs> You know, they have no breeding, they have no education, they have no savvy, they don't even open a freaking book. No. You know, I mean, it's like, do they even talk to anybody that has gray matter between their ears? I wonder. I wonder who raised these people. They sound feral, that they don't even know about the basics of life. Well, you know, all like of this... male and female and basic biology, they keep trying to deny biology and they're trying to deny nature. It's like, these people have just completely gone mad. Well, uh, rejection of the obvious. Uh, it's all. I mean, the the dystopian uh, stories from from a hundred years ago. They're uh, they're getting incredibly realistic now. Well, I remember reading about that when I was young. You know, when I was in my uh, you know teens. Well, I think nineteen eighty four did that. I don't know when did that come out. Sixties. And I remember the oh. other thing I remember reading was a day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. A van der That's it. Does, uh, Solzhenitsyn. No. Oh, is that about the perils of communism? <laughs> it yeah. was, okay. No, it was like, yeah, living in it, you know. And, um... There we go, Tracy, what's the temp today? Oh, you want to see yeah, how... Yeah, it's 73. want to see how beautiful that is? I don't even know if you can see that on the vid, but... 73. 73? Oh, my God. So nice. It's so glorious. nice. So nice. So glorious. And, you know, and spring is sprung. There's buds and, and, and leaves, uh... Young leaves on everything, so it's about to. Uh, spring is about to explode here. It's just creeping up on us. These trees look quite dramatic with the ivy growing up them in white. white yeah, ivy. they look better with the Christmas lights on those nights. I like them. You know, it's so warm. Those senior feisties, they got to be. They got to be close to uh, coming it, back. It's this month that they start. Usually at the end of my April. Oh really? Senior yeah. feisty time. There yeah. we go. But we're gonna. I think they're gonna. The first weekend we're gonna be on the high seas. Oh, okay. Well, we can miss one and senior feisty. And there's Lucille Ball's uh, a brother's house. Apparently, right there, Lucille Ball's brother owned that lot or something. Very loose connection. <laughs> I don't say loose. Your brother's pretty close. I don't know. I think. I think Lucy. I think she was a. Uh, she was an LA lady. Yes, she was. Also, a bunch of more big dingo energies got gifted. Is that you, Tilly? Tilly. Tilly. It is Tilly. Tilly's had too much tea. Tilly's been. Uh, she. I think she's been. Uh, she's been pumping up that tea. It's Irish tea now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly's been hitting the Irish tea. You know, most fun. Oh, Tilly, I love a good cup of tea. I know. Tilly was saying what she drank. She doesn't like uh, Earl Grey. Oh. No. The most classic of all teas. You like Thai food? Tea, oh great, hot. Yeah, Thai food, there you go. I, you know what I do is I, you can't get the Thai food over it. Well, you can, I suppose, but I drink the um, Mighty Leaf Organic Breakfast. Oh, which yeah. Which is about as close to the black tea that you get in the UK, because the tea you get there is really good. Although Ma Ma Mighty, Mighty Leaf is quality tea. Mighty That's Leaf is really good. It's they way have, up yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, it is very good. And so I drink their um, organic breakfast. And I think they have a, a, an Irish breakfast too, but this is just an organic breakfast. So. There we go. No gifts for the puppies. Puppy. Come on, puppy. It's only $1 a month. You can afford it, puppy. Push that <laughs> button, you know. There we go. Bob Dingo is by far the best Vegas streamer out there. Fantastic work. I thank you. 
I'm glad you appreciate the more eccentric streams I do. I try to find fun. One thing I found after doing streams in Vegas for three years is um, people will avoid fun like the plague. People do not want to have fun at all. It's like Fight Club, you know? Remember in Fight Club, he's like, just try to pick a fight with someone. People do anything they can to avoid fighting. People will do anything they can to avoid having fun. So I have to look far and wide to find the fun. And then when I find it, I hit the stream button on, on the phone there and I invite you to come with me. So you can have some well, fun. I don't know. I consider myself pretty disagreeable. Yeah, you are indeed. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> although not even in Vegas, uh, I don't know if you watch them on, but when I was down in front of Bellagio with the furries, I was trying to interview people. Oh, you didn't want to talk? That was so No weird. one would even say hello. Like... Yeah, but you know what? I think the other guy was a little off-putting because he was too, dressed weird. Too confrontational? Well, I don't know. I think he was, well, he was, Too close, well, maybe? I don't know. I mean, people, I mean, he was, like, dressed strangely. He was. And but I even even I had, I, I got a bit of reaction. I had, uh, even I had some difficulty, though, but... Well, you should have had your hat on. But yeah, the hat might have done yeah, it. the hat makes a difference. There we go. People are like, who is this guy with this hat? True, true. Without it, I just look like a regular bloke. I look like an accountant from Scranton, Missouri. You know? Hey, hey, it's Bob. Oh my God, it's Sedona, Dingo, and beautiful Mum Dingo. I'll show you Mum. Here's Mum. It's a glorious day in, in Sedona. Oh, jeez. That's what you look at. Tart. It's glorious. The sky is clear. It's clean. There's no, uh, you know, uh, uh, poisons in the sky, although I see way over there they're trying to poison the sky again, but it's glorious today. I love it when it's like this. I think we should go for a walk afterwards. We're going for a walk at the chapel then. Well, but that's not a real walk walk. Chapel time. We'll go up to the Mormon and walk around there. Oh, that's a good place for a walk indeed, yeah. We walk around our neighborhood. I mean, all the neighborhoods here are walkable, which is what's great about them. Yeah, Sedona, I mean, Sedona is definitely good for walking. No doubt. Yeah, all the neighborhoods. If that's are... one thing Sedona has, it's walking. Yeah, it's really good. There we go, Tilly. Earl Grey is nasty, LOL, perfumed nonsense. Well, you know, you're right, Tilly. And I, I was reading up that the reason why was, what was the reason why they did that? Well, I read that uh, Earl Grey was invented. It was supposed to mimic the, uh, they added bergamot, which is a flower that grows in England. Right. And they did it. It was supposed to mimic the flavor and scent of more expensive Asian teas uh, for less money. So they took regular black and they put bergamot in it. And it's supposed to taste like Asian teas. So okay. Tilly is right. <laughs> Tilly? Yeah, well, it is her name. Tilly knows tea. There we go. <laughs> Look. There you go, Tilly. I will do anything to cause a fight. I love fighting. You would love mom, Tilly. Tilly, you and I would disagree. It's great. Look, that's for sale. Was I, that I should look at it. Oh, is that a house? I think it's a house. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a house for sale in this neighborhood. Doesn't this have a crazy HOA, though? Oh, Bistic Kills does have an HOA, but yeah. not over here. They don't. Those, right. okay. Tilly, did you just gift more memberships? The Big Dingo Energy is flying. Too sweet. Tilly. <laughs> She wants everyone to, to, to disagree. She does. She wants everyone to have the... See, when you have Big Bingo Energy, it gives you the confidence to disagree <laughs> with mum-level uh, clarity. So... <laughs> <laughs> the Big Dingo Energy makes you most disagreeable. Yes, it gives you the confidence. But anyway, if people... I, I know uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carr were always looking for um, property in Arizona. And I, I can't... They're not in today. But if anybody is, just to let you know... The prices in Sedona are coming down on lots and houses. So if you're interested in doing that, I thought I suggest you start getting out the Zillow. <laughs> Hit up the Zillow? Have they closed the gate? No, no, right, good. No, they don't close it till like five. I don't know. Sometimes they close one side of it. They're like, ye shall not pass. Well, you know, Monday nights at 5 o'clock, they have a special prayer. We should do one of these days on the Monday. Maybe people would like to watch it. There you go, Billy the Kid. I live with an HOA puke emoji. Oh, my God. I agree with you, Billy the Kid. Those guys are like freaking Nazis. 
Well, also, well, it's like we, the communists, we, they tell you what to do and take down this tree, and and you can't, you know. Well, also the HOA, it ends up being only like the loneliest busybodies with nothing better to do with their lives. Uh, they all sign up for the uh, to be on the board, and they they don't have anything to do, and they're busy. They're all Karens, you know, and they yeah. all their whole life just becomes bothering the neighbors. Now that they have authority, you will respect my authority. You know. It's so anti-American, quite frankly. Well, so we have enough, for, you know, government <laughs> government intervention, oh, yeah, just from need... the state and the county and the city. Right. We don't need your neighbor also having some sort of authority over you. Yeah, somebody wanted to dig an HOA in our neighborhood, and I said, no way. H-O- <laughs> the other thing, do it. HOA in Sedona uh, and Flagstaff in, uh, I'm trying to think where else, even, I think all over. It, it, an HOA, but definitely in Sedona, I know this, Whoa. will lower your property value 25%. 25%. Yeah, Sedona, in Sedona, HOA has a huge effect on property values. Yeah. It's basically like having a... Yeah. It's like having a mark on you. Right. So <laughs> if your house is worth, a, a, let's just say one million, you know, if it's in an HOA, you can only sell it for 750000 Yep. Nice these out today. Wow, there's a lot of spaces. Whoa! All the spaces. What? What's going on? That's strange. Look at this. Huh. Well, we're not okay, we're not gonna have a problem there. No. Compact only. Well, I guess I'll drop you off at the top there, Mum. Alright. What did you get here? Uh, it's uh, a raspberry agua fresca. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Is it nice? Yeah. Hmm. All right, give us your review of the agua fresca there, Mom. Mm. It's very refreshing. Is it? Oh. Okay, I, I, I haven't even tried it yet. Just a, a hint of sweet. Well, there is also uh, probably 10% Sprite in there, too. <laughs> but it's also, um, uh, um, it's organic. Is this the organic stuff? Uh, I don't know. I don't mm. know. All right, let me give that a go. That is really good. Yum. Is that yum? Actually, it tastes like raspberry, too. Mm. Not like chemical raspberry. Well, it's organic. You're not allowed to bring a... Um, stuff up there so don't bring that you're not allowed to bring it it says no food or drink does it yes oh no one tells dingo what to do not even god oh come on <laughs> oh is that more big dingo energies is that you tilly 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 tilly's you're hitting the tea too much the tea you're hitting it <laughs> oh look who's taking the tea now there mum okay tilly thank you so much everyone's got the big dingo energies Okay. All right, so I got to thank you properly, but uh, uh, let me go find a spot. It says no drinks. I didn't know that, Tilly. Ten more memberships. Oh, thank you so much, Tilly. Oh, look, that Audi's from New Jersey. Well, they drove a far way. And they don't know how to drive, apparently. Yes. Bloody hell, let me tell you. Okay. T- bloody tourists. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Tilly. I gotta thank you properly. Can I make it all the way around? Prius, can you do it? Probably not. Okay. See, that's how you... That's how you go around the roundabout. Okay. No membership for me! You didn't win the lottery today, Robert. How do you accept a membership? Puppy, you never got one. Come on, puppy. You can spring for the dollaroo. Does it say no parking? No, it's just... All open. How odd. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bash the front of the car. I don't know. There we go. All right, we're good. There we go. All right, let me take another drink of this fabulous Chipotle Agua Fresca.
It's actually super tasty. Tasty! All right, chapel time before they close. We gotta move. There we go. Poor Robert, a sweepstake lottery that you didn't win. <laughs> Okay, let this be a sign. Don't go to Vegas and uh, spend all your money. You never know if you're gonna win. Also, park job, uh, not the greatest. Uh, you know, good enough. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> Warm day, oh, so nice, Ronnie. It's absolutely beautiful. There we go, there's red. Okay, let's go up the hill. Thank you, Tilly, again. The lights of Dingaloo are shining, and everyone's got the big dingo energy. Okay, let's go right up to the cactus. It's such a beautiful day. Ah, oh, so totally walkable today. There we go, 70 degrees in Canada, nice. Dingo park job, uh, you know, it's good enough. <laughs> you know, as long as you're, uh, you know, kind of within the space. Let's show you the Sedona cactus. Oh, so prickly. It's like the nature channel. There we go. Oh, that's nice, right there. Look at that shot. Now let me do some special effects. There we go. We'll go from over top. Yeah, there we go. I'll take the Oscar for Best Director now, thank you. Is it in the mail? No. There we go. Thank you, Tilly. It was a kind gesture, though. I must confess, it doesn't feel quite as exciting as receiving my... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't even say the rest of that comment. Oh my god, it's so nice today. Also, just a little bit of a breeze, too. There we go. Thank you, precious Tilly. I must be really stupid. What? One time in ninth grade, I got into a fight. I was pushed into a cactus bush. Well, that wasn't very nice. I hope you, uh, I hope you kicked their butt after they did that. Ouch, I will never forget. Well, depending on the cactus, some of them have little tiny, uh, like, invisible thorns. So these thorns are quite big. You know, if I touch it, I shouldn't. See, these thorns are quite big. Ouch! Okay, pretty sharp, though. <laughs> Sometimes they're little invisible ones that, you know, you can't get them out. There we go, the buggies are having a chat. Oh, three buggies. Three buggies. So if you weren't if you weren't watching the last stream, the last time we were here, the priest said that this is one of the most visited Catholic sites uh, of all the ones on the planet. Most visited. Oh, there's mum. She's waiting. Never mind. <laughs> hey, I didn't realize you were waiting, mum.
been a decent hour. It's only 4.15. Oh, 4.15? We've got plenty of time. Too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at the nice uh, view today. There we go. In Australia, if you your cactus, you have a big night, a disastrous accident. I know, I still got some plastic attached to the phone In there. Australia, what? It's a disaster. It's, oh, no, nothing. There we go. Look at the view there, Mum. Tell us about the formations. Well. I mean, it is such a nice day, though. Also, there's a Scottish dog coming right this way. There it is. He's straight from Scotland. Hey, you reckon from Glasgow? It's a healing terrier. Aye, is that a Scottish dog right there? Hello. Aye, it is. <laughs> there we go. Bob, do I play golf? I don't. I've been thinking of taking it up, though. It seems like a good hobby, you know, you uh, you spend all day out in the sun with your friends getting wasted. I mean, you know, pretty good, you know. Every once in a while you hit a ball, maybe. <laughs> I think golf is basically not the sport. It's basically about hanging out with your friends, <laughs> having cocktails on the, on, the, on the grass, you know. It is such a nice day, though. It's ridiculously nice. Yeah. Here we go, Mum, tell us a story. <laughs> Nothing to say, I'm just enjoying the view. <laughs> tell us a story oh, there. Tell us a story, Mum. I think it's really nice. Oh, here's another doggy. Another dog. Not from Scotland, though. Scottish. That's that's a uh, that's a that's obviously a, 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 a lady in the tramp. It is right. Cochlear. Yeah. Yeah. A cocker spaniel. It's a lady in the tramp. <laughs> it's a cocker spaniel. It's got the word, uh, you know. Spaniel. <laughs> the other one, hilarious. I think it's really nice the way they, that they take people up and down the road. It is. They have like three buggies too. I know it's really nice. They're uh, up and down the hill. I think the lady in the tramp wants a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Until Disney woke up that movie, unfortunately. I don't think it was okay. They no, no. Well, they remade it recently. Are you kidding? Oh uh, yeah, Mom. Are you kidding? Oh, uh, it is everything you don't want it to be. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> You know that that company is going. <coughs> that company is going south. And all the uh, anyway. I know Musk should buy it and make it better again. <laughs> Come on, Musk, cut him a check. There we go, chat. Have you seen the new Lady in the Tramp, the live action one? Did you like all that sweet, sweet wokeness? Mmm, woke, so delicious. It goes down so smooth. <laughs> Look at that tree's blooming too. Oh yes. That's interesting. That one's got cones and daubers on it. I always thought it was one or the other. It's got both. The cones are the end of the product. Interesting. Well, the daubers are full of uh, pollen. Yeah. <sighs> oh, flax sap. Interesting. Flax sap. Pine pollen, probably. We don't get it down here. No. But they have a, oh my god. Pollen City. There we go. Mom is a world traveler. I love that about her. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think it's important. I think it was, uh, I think, uh, was it Mark Twain said something to the effect, of course, I'm sorry, he said it far more poetically. Uh huh. What did he say? You know, that travel uh, vanquishes all prejudice. I think it vanquishes a lot of stupidity. That I'll say. Hello, Lorraine. How are you doing, Lorraine? I got your email. I got to respond to that. Uh, we're going to be in Vegas on the way to the cruise. 20... Whenever the date. The 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. There we go. Mom knows the dates. I don't know what they are, so. 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Boom. Look at that. Do some Vegas streams. Look at that. 
take a look at it. There we go, we'll show you the tourists coming and going. There we go, Poppy, you need to accept the membership. Oh, is that how it goes, Tilly? You're a membership pro. Also, Mum's going up. I don't know why, she left. Busy. When I click join, there's no option to accept memberships. Well, I think you just puppy. You got to uh, you got to lay down the one dollar. You got to lay it down. Oh yeah, going on a cruise. I can't wait. Yeah, we'll be live streaming it too. And also, it will be. It's the maiden voyage of the new Carnival Forensi. So, uh, there's a new ship in LA, and uh, this is the maiden voyage, so. Should be kind of exciting, I think. There we go, Bob, let's meet at Ocean One. Okay, Lorraine, you want to, uh, <laughs> want to go have some fun, I see. I see, I'm down, I'm in. All right, let's go find Mom. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's so nice today. Oh yeah, they're flying high above. What have you? There we go. I'm ship phobic, so we'll let you guys cruise for me. Come on, Lorraine, you gotta get in on it. Cruising's great. ship phobic? Lorraine. 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 What ships have you been on? I mean, have you been on small ones or big ones? Or what kind of boats have you been on? Indeed. Because, I mean, uh, I don't know how. I mean, let me put it this way. We're going on a really, this one's got 4,000 passengers, the Ferenzi. And um, honestly, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't like the big ones like that. I like the ones that are around 2,500. Um, the smaller ones, you know, they're okay. I like this size, that size, you know, the 2,400 passenger size boat um, but you have to find what ones you like but how could you say you don't like boats I know boats are so much fun do you not like boats at all Lorin there you go Lorin says I can't go on one why there we go talking about how to get the uh, big bingo energy Billy the Kid is Colt 45 still in the bathroom. <laughs> he never left. He I lives think he's in. in the bathroom in Florida. There we now. go. He lives in there now, you know. A 40 foot yacht is as big as I can go. Oh. Also, Tilly, did you just buy more memberships? Tilly. I think every viewer now is going to have the big bingo energy. It's time with Tilly. Tilly. Tilly, thank you. I 
think you really have been hitting the booze, Tilly. Yes, you've been hitting the tea. Hitting the tea. You've been <laughs> Irishing up that tea. I haven't been doing it like a proper British bread. Oh, no, you but it's more you don't adulterate the tea. My fair right? I'll right. never put that. Um, no whiskey in the tea today. Tilly's a purist. And that's for Winston Churchill. And then you can put plenty of whiskey in the tea. I don't know I put whiskey Winston Churchill. I think his slogan was, the only thing you should drink is whiskey. A proper gentleman's drink. <laughs> well, shall we... Uh... Anyway. So 40 foot... Well, you know, yes, I mean, that. the small boats are nice too. My brother and a, a, a sister-in-law have boats. I don't like them too tiny. I don't well, it's like a totally them. different thing, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them smaller than forty feet. I, I, I think that's just too tiny. Well, going on a boat is like camping. Yeah. Going on a cruise ship is a resort, you know. Yeah. Where they take care of you. That's true. On, on your own boat, you or you know the small ones. I mean, you're doing everything yourself. You know. They go, Lorena. I go to Catalina Island often. Not sure how big that boat is. Oh, oh you mean you take the ferry across? Is that is that a is that a cat that goes across? I, I've taken I believe that it ferry. Is. I believe it is. But I can't remember what kind of boat it was. I've been over, when I used to live in L.A. I uh, uh, I went over to Catalina quite a few. Well, so the the four day cruise out of L.A. They all go to Catalina. They so. all go to Catalina, and those are the big or as boats. us locals call it Avalon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Avalon. <laughs> Avalon's a city on Catalina. <laughs> It is the name of the city. Yeah. I wonder, is there more than is there, is there more than one city on Catalina? No, I think it's just one. Just Avalon. Yeah. Okay. If I could paint, I would do this view. I know. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It is lovely. It looks like we're in front of a backdrop or something. It's surreal. But it's surreal, yeah. We get to look. You know, the one thing about Sedona is. Uh, and people say, why do you move here? It's because of the beauty. I mean, you, you, every day that you step out of your house, that you open your curtains and look out, it's beauty. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I think it's, it's good for the soul. I don't think we're supposed to live in cement high rises in the city all like ants. Nope. But maybe some people are because, I mean, there's such thing as ant colonies. You know? But every, every dystopian movie has kind of uh, predicted that as the end game. Like your Blade Runner, which I just watched the other day. You know, it's just like vertical concrete yeah. and everyone's kind of packed in. Yeah. You know, that thing is funny. Every dystopian movie, all the buildings have Asian characters on them. Oh, really? Yeah. That's very interesting. So all of the dystopian writers from 80 years ago, they all Foresaw? they anticipated kind of Asian grid living, kind of ruining everything. Well, because, you I mean, they were already doing it before the Western world was well, doing Well, Japan it. is kind of like that. Yeah. You know. Well, even in the small, because we went to maybe what, five islands in Japan, and and they are very populated. Every single island very. is very populated, and it's very very concrete and square. And it's very uh, uh, dense, condensed. Dense. They don't do houses. Well, they did have they... houses. Remember when we went out to that uh, that temple way out there? And they oh, had, in the country. Oh, and yeah. They had, and the country, but the country's not like here. You know, in America, you drive in the country. You drive for hours and hours before you'll sit. To, you know, in the country. Uh, uh, there, no. <laughs> you know, it's maybe it's maybe fifteen minutes or half an hour maximum in the country. But um, uh, but they did have houses. But they were, you know, they weren't. It was uh, the predominant. The the majority of the people lived in the cities. All the cities were just busy. Yeah, Lots and very square and very concrete. And then in Blade Runner, uh, it but was But they're very, very polite. Concrete. The Japanese are very clean. I mean, their country is incredibly clean. I mean, public toilet. I mean, you know, you wouldn't go into a public toilet in America. You can in Japan. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are spotless. And they are a spotless people. And their country is very clean. Even the air is clean for having such a density of people. Even It's, it's really quite extraordinary. And even the public toilets, you know, a lot of them in the restaurants, they'll have like... The four thousand dollar Toto's that sing to you. Yeah, they can do that in Japan because no <laughs> He's one. He's got a video like that. You I got a video of me. I got a video of me sitting on it. Yeah, and it, it, the whole thing. It's a very funny video. But only in Japan could you do that. If you did that here or anywhere else, they'd break the toilet. Yeah, like some yeah. Some, some hooligan would, would go and break it. It's very delicate. Or it's got buttons and stuff. Or something, in Japan, know. they put that five thousand dollar toilet right out there. Everyone just respects it. They clean it. And they do know. this. And it's the one that was next to the Kabuki Theater in Tokyo because we went to see Kabuki. 
And uh, I did a vid of me sitting on that for the first yeah. time. I got a post actually. It's kind of funny. It was a, so we, we had, we had to, like in a little bit of time. So we went to the bakery beforehand, which is right next door. And, and the and the bathroom was. You went in. It's all very sexy, all very zen, and calm. You know, and all the colors are very, you know, you know, like you know, get a, a spa. Oh know? yeah. And the lights are very, you know, uh, atmospheric. And and you lift the lid up, and it starts playing music. It starts playing classical music, very, very quiet. Then you push a button on there and Hello Kitty wipes your bum. It's amazing. Yeah. Hello yeah. Kitty comes right out of the toilet and wipes your bum. Amazing. Ma well, you Thank you, Japan. No. Go too. ahead. <laughs> but it's like, uh, uh, it's like an art form, you know. <laughs> Whereas here in America, I mean, the public toilets are disgusting. I, 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 he, and they're he, broken. He's like refused to use public toilets anywhere. Well, they really. yuck. I don't like them. Yeah, right. yeah. I'll use them because, well, I'm a lady, so I got I better go, you know. But uh, anyway, it's 4.30. Let's take a Got to go inside a little turn? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I have those washlets on all my toilets. I highly recommend the ones at Costco. Yeah, they. I think that's the name, they, the brand name, washlet. No? Washlet. It's got the... It's got the uh, bidet built in. But in Japan they have like super premium ones with music and lights and stuff. Someone's, uh, someone's wrecking the joint. Did he knock it over? Yeah. I can see outside really well. Where are you going, Mom? There we go, and there we go, and a heater and a fan to dry you off, Bob. That's the top of the line, Toto. And then there we go, Billy the Kid says Toto is named after the dog in the Wizard of Oz. No way. No, I don't think so. No way. There we go, churches aren't my thing, but the scenery is great. True story. I sure would love to talk to mom about the Catholic Church. I bet she has the tea. Oh, yes. Well, I definitely have my opinions. <laughs> gotcha. Also, no one in here today. I know. So do I have any singles? I got it. Yeah. Okay, so chat, uh, let's go light a uh, a candle. So So anyone you want to thank? Also, the na the the band <laughs> the band Toto is named after Toto. Okay, so chat. Anyone uh, you want to thank or have in your prayers today?
There we go. Can you write one from my grandma, Catherine, in heaven? Oh, Catherine. Okay, this is for your grand, Catherine. Let's switch one should we like. Let's light one over here. Let's go for this one. So this is for Catherine in heaven. Also my, ah, I'm running my hand off. Ouch, okay. My daughter lost her beloved dog last week and it's so sad. We'll pray for you. Beloved doggy too. And your gran. And also, as always, Hora. Ouch. Our, uh, our good friend Hemingway. Rest in peace. Okay, that one, that one I lit dingo style. Oh, crap. Uh, it's actually melting the side of the vessel. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try to do that properly. Come on. Okay, we'll light the candle again. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Her name is Mary. Mary. Mary looking down on us from heaven today. <laughs> yeah, Lorraine, I, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but this is glass on the outside. The inside is plastic. I, uh, I kind of melt. That's a dingo style candle right there, you know. <laughs> So I almost burned the church down today. I'll try I try not to. I try not to. There we go. My dog's name was Loki, 12 years old. Loki, the god of mischief from Vikings, I think. The Viking god of mystery. Uh, uh, um, uh, not mistress, what did I say? I forgot. It's in the movie The Mask, they talk about him. <laughs> also, your granny, she's laughing at me, almost melting the cup down. There we go. <laughs> also, as always, to our friend Hemingway. Also, the Avengers movie. It's it does, yeah. It's warm in here, too. Can I see outside? I think so. They do.
outside. There we go, there's the view. Telly. Telly. Ten pounds, thank you. Do four for me, Ma, Pa, Auntie, and Bro. Alright, let's light him up. Thank you, Telly. Keeping the lights on him, Bingo. Are there. I think there's four free. The bones. Bingo. Let's see if we have four for you. We'll do these. We'll do these ones right here, I think, yeah. So, Telly, this is for you, Ma, Pa, Auntie, and Bro. And we'll light it with uh, our last candle. Try not to burn down the thing today. Come on. There we go. One more. There we go. Okay, do we get them all? Where is this one going? Okay, that one's taking a bit of time. One, two, three, four. I think we got them. Okay, so there's the original candle. We got four more right there. Matches are giving me a bit of trouble today, but we got it. Only that one we burned extra good, but we're okay. Oh, someone burned this one too. Okay, that one got scorched. So I have sandals on today. Spring has sprung. There we go, the lights of Dingo Lewis shining and the candles. 
at the chapel of the Holy Cross are also shining. Okay, got on it. There we go. I spent the 99 cents, well worth the price, just for the entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's filling up today a bit. So if you watch the last stream we did here, uh, these are the... What do they call those relics? What do you call those, Mum? Mum. What? Is it called the relics? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Of the twelve apostles. Okay. And they're uh, they have physical things from the the, the apostles. In yes, it's something either a piece of their skin or a piece of their bone or or a piece not their skin because that would physical, be physical a physical yes, part of their body. Piece of their blood or something is in there. Nature. Yes. And if you missed the last stream, the priest was saying they use these for exorcisms. <laughs> yes. Apparently the relics, they scare out the demons. So. I don't know if you can see can you see the gold rose up there? Can you the gold rose. See the gold rose. Back up. Yeah. Oh, we can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. You know what's interesting? Oh, it's, it's a sword in the middle. Uh. No. It's a. The, the rose is a symbol of the Notre Dame Order of Nuns, which is very interesting. Vanny is a, a sacred heart. Uh. And then Lorraine says, "I've noticed in Catholic churches, Jesus is always shown on his crucified position." And in Christian churches, you see a cross, but he's not on it. Is that true? I think that, that is true. That is I thought about it. Yeah, the Mormon church, he's not on the cross. No. No, we've, I've looked at several other religions, and they don't seem to... to, to that no, seems he's to never specific. on it, yeah. But if you go to Italy, I mean, you know, they, they've got the bodies of saints. <laughs> in, I mean, they say they're incorruptible, but, uh, they, you know, they're still... Uh, they're slightly corruptible. <laughs> The spirits are incorruptible. You no, know, I mean, there's, um, it's all over. And they have, like, you know, they had her St. Teresa in Siena, but her body's in Rome and that sort of thing. Um, you know, and Anthony of Padua, he was a lawyer and apparently spoke on behalf of those who, who didn't have a voice. And, and so his tongue is in a monstrance there, and his whole body is there, too. Mm, nice. But, uh, it's like his whole body's there without the tongue because it's in a monstrance. Well, I mean, the tongue's a special piece. It's separate. And then Lorraine says, am I a horrible person to say that the priest was kind of cute? The what? The priest was kind of cute. I have to agree with you. Oh, you <laughs> thought he was handsome too? I thought he was handsome too. <laughs> it doesn't mean they can't be good looking. He's not available. But anyway, so the rose is the symbol of the Notre Dame Order of Nuns. We go. Tracy says, I think you can go to Notre Dame in, 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 in now in Paris. Reopened, I guess. It's reopened now. There we go. I love, the, I love the, the cuteness of this tabernacle. It's just a little teeny one for the chapel. Yeah. Well, the chapel's kind of petite, so. Oh, it's very nice, this chapel. It's very special. There we go. Robert Sire, he's married, indeed. Who's married? The priest. He's unavailable. I don't. Priests don't marry. Married to God, Mom. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you liked it, you should have put a ring on it, but God beat you to it. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> St. Paul to intercede. <laughs> uh, St. Paul knows what I need. Do you know what I need, St. Paul? Does St. Paul know what I need? He knows. He gets it. Uh, 
That's a good joke, though. That's a good joke. The priest is hot. If you liked it, you should have put a ring on it, but God beat you to it. Hey ho. Uh... I don't think I should say that in here. I could say that out there. No, I think the priest is allowed to. <laughs> There you go, Mom. Have you ever been to the Wayfarer Chapel in Palos Verdes, California? I don't, it sounds familiar. Is that a big one or something? I know Palos Verdes. Um, it sounds familiar, though. I know we have a Wayfarer in Arizona on the way out to the Grand Canyon. Uh, on What is that? 180? Mm-hmm. It goes out to the yeah. Grand Canyon. There's a little... Chini Chapel in the middle of the woods, and I think it's called the Wayfair, isn't it? That little, oh, that's called the Dove Chapel, excuse me. Oh, the smallest one? The, Chini, the little tiny oh, one? It's, it's like, it's homesteader, you know, a wagon day. It's so cute. Lauren says it's made of glass overlooking the ocean. It's made of glass? Overlooking the ocean. I must have seen it, but I don't recall it. We'll have to go there the next time. We're going to be in L.A. I know. We'll have to get a uh, go there and, and have a look at it then. Yeah. Maybe do a stream there. Do a stream? So many streams. There's no music playing today. I have piano. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. I, I can hear it. Uh, I like the monks better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that church, it was closed after the last storm. Some kind of landslide or something. What, what is it? Uh, the, that church they were talking about, it was closed after the last storm, some kind of landslide or something. In Palos Palos Verdes. I thought it was Palos, uh, Palos Verdes? Palos Verdes. Oh. I'll look it up. I should roll out. Yeah.
I think that mosaic needs a bit of a touch up. Huh? That mosaic needs a bit of a touch up. It needs a bit of a clean. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be the Holy Spirit. Or I think it's a dove. Okay, there we go. I can I can talk now. Oh, look at the reflection. Yeah. In the glass. Ooh, nice. You want to show them your your lair? My lair. You mean my my little my humble abode? Where's my humble abode? There we go, there's the Sedona Valley. And there's my there's my humble abode right there, you know. Got the grotto. I didn't see them. Let's go see. Only the necessities, you know, the bare necessities. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Yeah, man. I mean I the bare necessities, that's how a bear can rest at ease, rest at ease. <laughs> just the bare necessities of life. Yeah, my humble abode, you know, with the uh, astronomy observation dome, the grotto, ten car garage full of Ferraris for every day of the week, you know, just everything I need, nothing extra, you know, gold plated faucets, it's okay, I'm a, I'm a, hum I'm a humble bloke, you know, I don't need too much. Not too much for me. <laughs> Dingo Manor, there it is, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, says right on the gate, BD, that's me. <laughs> Jungle Book Boogaloo. Funny thing is, I haven't seen that movie since it's probably 10 years old. I can still remember the song though. Oh, thanks, Lorin, $5 rose. Oh, Lorraine, thanks for the five dollars. I'm still, I'm still whispering. Thank I don't you know so why. Thanks. Nice. Thanks for the candle for my grandma, Catherine. Yeah. I know, Catherine. R.I.P. When did your, uh, when did your grand pass away? Is it a while ago? Also, this is like the best chapel to light a candle. So, also those candles, they stay lit for, uh, for five days. Three days? He said three days. So. I know, your poor gran, your gran Catherine. Anyway, thank you so much. Keep the lights on at Dingo Lou, and for your gran. Where'd mum go? Uh, 20 years ago, oh. Keeping the lights on at Dingo Manor, you know. The uh, the power bill, it's a lot. Keeping that grotto running. It takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of power at old Dingo Manor to keep the lights on, you know. There we go, grandmas are the best, I agree. They uh, they treat their grandkids right, that's for sure, you know. They give you all the goodies. Uh, Dingo, thank you, Steve. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, it's just, it's a crazy beautiful day today. Uh, she brought me to Vegas when I was a kid, so when I'm in Vegas, I think of her. I also went to Vegas with my gran, my granny. Uh, although she was away all day gambling, so I never saw her much. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we stayed at Treasure Island, and uh, I think I saw my gran like once on that entire trip. She was uh, taking in the, uh, you know, the pokies. <laughs> Do I plan on dating Kate? Yeah, if I ever see her again, I hope. We go. You're looking the wrong way, Mum. I think those golden eagles are nesting up there. Look, I saw one just fly right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it is spring. This is when all the animals are Indeed. doing Indeed. As they say in Spain, they have a great saying in Spain. Es, primi es primavera la sangre saltera. <laughs> And we'll, we'll translate for that for you. That means it's spring and your blood jumps. Es primavera la sangre saltera. Lost in translation. i got to watch that movie tonight, Lost in Translation. I mean, it's spring, you get excited because you're coming out of winter. Exactly. I'm excited. Winter is way too long. Roseanne. Roseanne, thank you for the five dollars. Keep those lights on in Tingo Lou. We could not do without you. Roseanne. The lights in Tingo Lou are shining. So brightly, so brightly. Gonna be back in Vegas in uh, like 10 days, a couple of weeks, two weeks, I think. And uh, mom will be with me for that one too. So, yes, thank you so much, Roseanne. I hope you like the Sedona streams. Oh, mom's pointing at something. What are you pointing at there, mom? I think they're nesting in these mountains in here. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a nice, safe place. So, so, so nice. There we go, we're in 12 days, 12 days to Vegas. Although Vegas, it feels a bit like Groundhog Day. Except without the hilarity of uh, Mr. Uh, what's his face? Mom, what's that actor's name? The Ghostbusters guy who was in Groundhog Day? <laughs> Chippy Chase? Uh, the other one, N not Dan Aykroyd, not Chevy Chase. <laughs> All right, chat, you know. Hello, Mark Wagner, how are you doing? Closing in five minutes, just made it. Hi, Mark. And he was like, you gotta go, we don't wanna lock you in. See, look, everything's coming into bloom in spring. Look, there's leaves on the trees. I know, spring is sprung. I know. There we go, Marcello, Bill Murray, you got there it. You go. <laughs> I've also read I've also read horrible things about Chevy Chase. Yes. Apparently he is quite the monster. He's very wealthy. He belongs to the, the, the plumbing uh, family. Yeah, Chevy Chase, he didn't need his fame. Uh, he's heir to a plumbing fortune, so. And then uh, Bill Murray, I, I haven't heard that he's mean. I've just heard that he's very, very weird. Right, Mom? He's a way. very strange guy. Well, just doing things, things that are inappropriate. Well, like I was reading that movie about in the uh, that story about him in the Hollywood Reporter. He doesn't have an agent, um, and so you have to send like a text message to his number, and he'll just reply and say like, "Coffee shop, Santa Monica Boulevard, 7 p.m.," and you just have to be there. And he might be there, he might not, and that's how he operates. Well, I think that's a great way to operate. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm famous, so. <laughs> I'll respond or I won't. Like I don't, I don't need to go bother with, you know. Phone call. Yeah. And you better show up. It's Bill Murray. <laughs> exactly. Come on. <laughs> She's going. Hey, hello. I'm here. <laughs> Okay, Kingpin was the funniest Bill Murray movie. Which one? Kingpin? Yeah. I don't remember. Have you that seen one. that? I don't think I I've seen that one I've either. That no. One, no. Hello, Joanna Thibet. Hello, Mom. Greetings from Niagara Falls. Hi, Diana, uh, Joanna. There we go. Bill Murray likes to play golf, Caddyshack. I heard that, that you know, for the eclipse yesterday, they sent the, the military out to Niagara Falls. I know. Oh. I mean, the, so are people going crazy? I mean, it was just an eclipse. I mean, they were acting like it was like the invasion is down in the south of the border. That's well, what no, invasion. there's absolutely no military there. No, yeah. no, no. And there's invasion up at your border too. I was looking at your statistics. Uh, what uh, up I, in Canada? Well, I don't know, Joanne. Are you in the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, or the, are you American? 
I don't think Canada, did they, did they let in illegal immigrants? I don't think oh so. Oh my God, yes. They do? Oh, they've got a terrible problem. Okay. Oh. I mean, not as bad as America, oh, but. Oh, it's bad, it's worse. I don't think they have as much of a doll as America has no, got. It's, it's, America's got the, the biggest big, doll of all the dolls. They have a big uh, They got a cookie doll. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. What a day. What a day. You know what was nice about today? Yeah. There was nobody there. I know. There were so few people. Look at all these spaces. It's so peaceful. You know, maybe it's something to do with the uh, the, the build up to Easter. Because Easter is the, the highest holiday in the liturgical calendar. <laughs> I know, and, and the driver's window's open. I can see people. Also, the horn's kind of, it sounds interesting. You know what it is? It's this city folk. I know. Bloody city slickers coming up into Sedona with their palisade. Hey, it's still a Hyundai, okay? It's still a Hyundai, even if it's a palisade. Is it not as wordy as she said, though? I don't know if I've got the right place. There we go, Solagira. I missed half the live. So much, so much for the peaceful. There we go. City Slickers are, uh, they got the thing. I'm going to drink this Agua Fresca right here because it's pretty okay. boss. I want some too. You leave some for me. That's really good stuff. And it actually tastes like raspberry. I know. Let's get that next Usually time. it tastes like, you know, like when you drink a Jolly Rancher and it says raspberry? But it's synthetic raspberry, you know. Jesus Christ. Universe. Holy shit. I'm glad you did it, not me. Okay. Oh uh, boy, that can't be good. Gonna get out and have a lick? Um, let's go through the gate. Jeez, nothing leaking? I hope not. Boy, that did not. I had I had it like on full gas to get out of there. Okay, well, I swore, boy, oh boy, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> well, that means you did a good job gluing the bumper back on. <laughs> um, I think that might have been the radiator housing. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I know what it is. I think when I parked it, you weren't in, and with the extra weight, it put it right down on it. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. I'm not heavy. <laughs> oh, only an extra half an inch. It's okay. The car is a rental. I wish it was. Oh boy, is this anything? This is really good. I'm sorry, I'm finishing. No out. leaks. No leaks. Okay. Isn't this really nice not having anybody here? I know. Peaceful. We don't usually go out in the weekends because there's just too many people. There we go. Sure, blame it on mom. It's all mom's fault. I know. I just. That's why the car got hung up. Uh oh. Oh, both sides of the gate are closed. There we go. Bob, no beard, looks naked. Well, you don't like my naked face? I rented a Prius C in Vegas 80 a week. Well, that's a solid deal right there. Okay. Probably just the front air dam spoiler. Actually, that's completely broken off. That was the radiator housing. I know it <laughs> for a fact. Oh, oh the the, uh, <laughs> the daffodils are still out. I know. It's so beautiful today. It's a beautiful day. Should we go up to Mormon Hill? Uh, okay. You want to end at Mormon Hill? Well, okay. Where else do you want to go? Oh, that's a good place. Yeah. Plus, we'll have uh, senior feisties. There we go. No Beard Bob looks younger than Beard Bob. That's why I got rid of it. Because he knew Vice is just be starting up, but what, I think they're going to start up the weekend that we're going to be on the high seas, so. Oh, that's okay. It'll take him a week to figure out, uh... You didn't fill the water up, huh? Well, no. Senior Feisties. 
Yeah, I must say the, the dingo stash adds a lot of years to me, so. 80 a week is dingo style? I would say so. I don't think I can even get that price in Mexico. Yeah, South man. of the border, down Mexico way. Yeah, I gotta say, without all the tourists uh, today, it's much, nicer. much more chill, so. Yeah. There we go, approaching 13K. I know, I've been approaching 13K for so long. Well, Sally, I think this is the Shabbat. Oh no, that's a, that's a chapel too. The Shabbat's around here somewhere. It's down a little bit. Oh, a little bit? Oh my God. Oh, that's a nice day. There we go, such a nice day. This is Sedona. I keep hoping I'm gonna run into Tom Cruise, but I don't think he gets his own groceries. He gets DoorDash, he can afford it, you know. <laughs> Also Travolta, I've been waiting to run into him for a long time. Also DoorDash, he never goes out. No. <coughs> Tom Cruise is living in Sedona. Uh, he doesn't live here, no. I think he lives in his mansion in, in Beverly Hills. Uh, he has a place here though. Also, I think Tom basically makes movies 24-7, so he's always making movies. He will until he does a stunt so dangerous he dies on set. And then his obituary will read, he died doing what he loved, making movies that are not woke. <laughs> there we go, scenery is very much Australia. Yeah, kinda. And there we go, risky business. That's an 80s movie. It's got some good scenes. I don't know if it holds up though. It was fun. Do, 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 do. Risky business do, do. was the one that made him famous. Yeah. When he came out and slid out in his socks. Yep. Apparently he set that up. He, he did that. And he put like tape on the floor so he would stop right on cue. So it was an actor thing? It was, well he, he's a pro. He's like, I wanna slide and stop right on the spot. So take those old records off the shelf. The new music ain't got the same soul. And there we go, Leaving Las Vegas. Uh, that is a Nick Cage movie. I remember seeing Risky Business on HEB back when it came out. It was like 12. I think that movie came out, I don't know. It's 80s, I don't know. HBO, there you go. HEB is our local grocery store, there you go. I've heard of those, we don't have those in Arizona. So I take those old records off the shelf. I got a long time of rock and roll. I don't know the lyrics. It's kind of a chill and enjoy the scenery kind of day. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, the days are getting longer, which is nice. And uh, so it's, it's light until ooh, like 6 37 now. Yeah. So that's nice. Because well, usually when you think about it, at this hour by 5 15, usually the sun's going down below the horizon. <coughs> I know, winter is so annoying. All cold and stuff. There we go, Bobby's in the building. Bobby has left the building.
There we go. Dang, what can the dingo not do? Now singing, he's multifaceted. Uh, thank you. I try. I wish I knew all the lyrics, but... <laughs> I do a bit of singing in Vegas from time to time. Oh, flamenco! Do you want to go to flamenco? Flamenco? Is it on? Well, it says right there. Are they crossing? Oh, there we go. Feisty. Let's go to flamenco. Let's go? Is it... It's not this early, though, is it? It says 5.30. 5.30? That's right now. <laughs> oh, I guess we're going to see senior feisties after all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, chat, you ready for senior feisties? We're kind of early, though. Ah, it's okay. We'll get a decent seat. Also, bloody tourists jamming up the road. I should just turn in there. No? Oh, you get parked because you want to park there. The damn tourists. I know. Bloody tourists jamming up the whole place. But there's less today. I well, think they it might be easy to go in and I don't there. know. They certainly weren't in the chapel. I'll say they let me in. Oh, watch, thank you. Watch this guy, though. Here we go. The impronounceable name of Sedona's only mall. I know. <laughs> it's got so many con so many consonants in it. It's a really nice mall. What, are, what are we, Mayans or something? We can't pronounce that stuff. They did some landscaping there. Oh, they're fixing it up. Uh-oh, no spaces. It says some space on the other side. The other but... side, yeah. Uh, let's get the lights on it, dingo -loo. They're shining. Look at all these bloody tourists. They're eating up all the spaces. Oh, there's... Oh, no. What did I say? Fire lane? I don't... Oh, this way? Maybe it is like a, uh, uh, I think you can go up here. There it is, uh, a wedding or something. I think you can go up there, can you? Oh, one way? I don't that know. Well, I'm gonna go there anyway. Oh, there's a space. I'm gonna turn around. There's, uh, several spaces. Okay. Uh, how do I turn around? Trying to figure this out here, okay. Alright, we go up. Round there. Fontaine. Do, 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 do. There we go, the trees all lost their leaves. They lost their leaves six no, months. No, they're just getting their leaves back and you six, see their budding. Six months ago. Spring is definitely here. The pots up there are nice. There we go. Sedona's impronounceable mall. Talaki Paki. There's the vino zona. I finished all that. You did? I did it. Where's my go? where's my raspberry? It was really good. Where's my raspberry? <laughs> Hey, Mom. I'm gonna take a look under the front of the car here. Take this for a minute. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the front of the car. Take this for a minute. Yeah.
There's Dinka checking it out. It smells really good here right now. Oh, we need a. Did you? What, what, what happened? Got uh, yift up pretty good right there. Well, we need seats because everything's taken. All right, we'll just sort of stand. We don't have that much time left anyway. <laughs> yep, the lower radiator uh, brace. Boy, it's yift up pretty good. Okay. There we go. Is this where the ladies drink wine and dance? It is indeed. I don't know about drinking wine. Bevies. There we go. It's just a mere flesh wound, Bob, but you made it this far yet. <laughs> so what, what's the verdict? Oh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's holding the radiator on at this point, quite frankly. <laughs> the radiator is sitting on nothing. Um, I can see why it took so much gas to dislodge the car. Because uh, that thing's bent. Whew. Boy, it got snagged pretty Oh, doggies. Here we go, we're back. I think it must have just begun, Mom. Huh? I think it must have just begun. It did. First week? I think so. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, crap. I'm sorry, Bob. I know. <laughs> yeah, the radiator brace, it looks like a taco. It's usually like a bar on the bottom, and it's all bent to the front, so... Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, it's not leaking. That's good. <laughs> oh, God. Boy, that Prius, it is a, that is a durable auto, let me tell you. Toyota make a very durable car. You catch it under the stop sign. It does not break. Toyota, hi! Oh, it's been so long, Mom. I know. Oh, it's funny. As we go, this chair is big it enough. Is. This is for one cheek. <laughs> this is a one cheek only. It's better than standing. There we go. <laughs> okay, chat, we're back. Do you want a, uh, a cushion? No, oh, I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. It helps the cushion. Yeah, we're okay. <coughs> <coughs> A long winter. I know it feels like a long, long time since we were here. A long winter. But you know, as they say, it's always darkest right before the storm. It's totally black. Oh. <laughs> no, the dawn is what they say, but. I'd be out there too if I had someone to dance with. Okay, let's see if the uh, let's see if we got the feisties. They're in. I don't know. I don't see any feisties. I used to dance in a club called Sneakers back in '94. Fun times. Billy the Kid, what did you think of the furry rave?
Okay, chat, what did everyone think of the furry raid? Did you like that? On the roof? <laughs> what did you think? I thought it was pretty fun. Exciting. So fun, so different than senior five sticks. Ah, they're both good though. There we go. Hi, Bob. Uh, where is this? How often do they play music? So, Mary G. Uh, this is at Talaki Paki in Sedona. They do this three days a week. Uh, Sunday, Monday, and t Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Um, and I think they don't do this in the winter, so they just opened. <laughs> there we go. Billy the Kid. I loved it. I can only imagine how much they're sweating in those in the suits. Well, the, the wolf that I hugged, he uh, he was like soaking wet when I gave him a hug, so yeah, he was sweating pretty good, you know? You know the blue wolf? Sorry. Yeah, so if you're in Sedona, they do this three days a week, and it's free, and uh, you can grab a few bevies if you want to. There we go, Vegas and the same without our Bob Dingo. Don't worry, I'm gonna be back in 12 days. 12 days. And then on a cruise. Cruise time. <laughs> yeah, Billy the Kid, there you go. The blue wolf, he was uh he was soaking wet when I gave him a hug. <laughs> Thirteen K coming up. I know. I know. YouTube's not showing uh, this to anyone. What is this, Mum? What are you spending money on bevies? What is this nonsense, Mum? I just thought you might want a beer. Bloody hell! There we go. Dos Equis. There we go. La Guerre Especial. And there we go. What did you get, Mum? A sangria. Sangria. I, I think you like it. Oh, la sangria! Para los dos X. Desde 1897. 1897. 1800. 1897. They wouldn't say that in Spanish, though. Yeah. Would they say 18 or they say 1800? No, they say 1800. 1,800. Uh, uh, no, 97? They wouldn't say 1897, like in English. 1,800. I mean, uh, There we go. Hold it by the neck so it doesn't get warm. All right, Mom? Salute. Salute. To, 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 to the rebirth? To the rebirth of flamenco. <laughs> it feels like an eternity since we were last here. I know. I don't even remember it. It was a long time ago. <laughs> See, I may not always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. <laughs> is that the beer he drank? I can't remember. This is quite good. I may not always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. I think it is. Yeah. All right. Nice too? It's yeah. very refreshing. I may not always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Stay wasted, my friend. Goes down pretty smooth. It's a light beer right there. So what's everyone saying? There we go. Mum got a Jack and Coke. Lauren says cheers, guys. Salute. I'm a good influence, Eddie. Good work, Bobby. Now your beer will stay cool. Is this how the pros do it? Hold it by the neck. I've heard of people, they even they keep the lid on to, to stop the, the effervescence from escaping. Oh, really? Holding the... Well, I think that's a bit much. Well, you know, that's how, uh, you know, that's how uh, tapas was invented. They would put a slice of haman over the top of the wine cup to keep sand from getting into the wine. Oh, really? That's the origin of tapas. They, they, they put the hamon over the top, the, the top of the drink to keep sand from getting in. In the olden days, and then they would eat this the hamon, obviously. So, 
My husband likes Coronas with lime only in a bottle. They did ask if I wanted a lime and I said no, but here you can have my lime if you want. No, this is Dos Equis, no Corona. They gave me the, they gave me lime. I don't need it, it's the Dos Equis. I don't need a lime. Ay, 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 si and draw. We drink the Dos Equis. See, in Mexico, they got two Equis. In America, we got triple X. We got Vin Diesel. FTW. Bob, can you climb that tree for me? I can't get kicked out on the first day. It's not allowed. It actually, there's a sign on there that says don't climb my or mark the tree. Yeah. That's a very old tree. The liability insurance doesn't cover yeah, the. Yeah, uh, tree's been there. Doesn't cover this. <laughs> I know the girls dancing is so cute. They're getting fired up for the. Uh, I don't know. Do you see any senior feisties there? I'm sure as soon as the music starts, they'll be out. Where are the senior feisties? Do you want some uh, chips and salsa? I'm not hungry. Didn't we eat? I know. But oh, I'm we had a burrito. That's it. I'm hungry still. Yeah? Yeah. You want some chips and salsa? I'm okay. There we go. It's beautiful. I know Lorraine, so... To any of the viewers, if you haven't seen this before, if you're ever in Sedona on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, this is a must-do. This is a must-do. Although those people from uh, Wisconsin came and they weren't impressed. I remember we met some we met some viewers here. I remember that, Mom. What's their name? I don't know. Um. I can't believe how badly I bent the lower radiator brace, though. Oh, really? I'm actually curious what's holding it on at this point. I'm just You're... glad it wasn't me because it was me, I would never hear the end of it. Okay, I never hear the. Well, if it was end. if it was you, you would have never told me you did it until the car is on fire. So, <laughs> no, but really, I had the gas all the way down to the floor. It wasn't backing up. I'm like, it's snagged pretty good. I probably should have not done that. Okay. How else were you gonna get out of there? We could have gotten out of the car and kind of took the weight off. I was like, why isn't it going? Okay. Well, you could have gotten out of the car and I could have backed it out. That too, that too. Then you would have backed into a tree though, so, you know. <laughs> there we go. Chris Technician, good day. Bob Dingo and Mom, good day to you. That looks like an old dog. The little white, the white, one. The white fuzzy, the white, whatever. White, it's a Scotty too? It's kind of a Scotty. No. It's a Scotty mix, I think. How did I do that, Bob? So when I pulled into the space at uh, uh, at the chapel, I went over the you know the concrete thing at the end of a parking space. I guess there must have been like a tenth of an inch clearance. And then when we both got in to leave, I think it pushed it down onto it, and it. it Oh, I thought that was the same dog. They look exactly the same. Okay. That looks like a shih tzu. There we go. Did you guys see the eclipse yesterday? We didn't get it in Arizona, it was, but it was overcast. It was uh, all cloudy yesterday. There we go. Bob, I ripped the bottom off my Camaro trying to leave a parking space. I know. Why did they put so much low stuff in the front of the car, though? Okay. Uh, we're getting replaced. Okay, uh, now I see what they're doing. The front end of my 77 Camaro. Oh no. That was really good. There we go. I messed up the front of my bumper on one of those two, Bob. Look, says Lorraine. Apparently, everyone in the chat messed up their cars real good on these oh, stupid okay, so parking here. things. Okay, so here we put oh, where is the line? I don't know. I don't, what's the point of the line? I have I a line. It is supposed to give you a massa board. Okay, squish the lime into my beer. All right, let's make a big mess. I see. Now it has massa board. Let's try my lime beer. Much better, actually. Okay, we got senior five seats. Let's see. There we go, 
it makes it taste better, Mom. Much better, actually. Ooh, the lime gives you dingo energy. I already had big dingo energy. I could always use more of that. my friends. There we go, cheers to you chat, clink! Vance, yeah, we're back. They just opened Vance. Also, my now that I have a 5G phone, it's working better here, so. Also, Vance, Fi Stealer. <laughs> We got the mothership here in Austin, Joe Rogan's comedy club. I know, I got to, uh, what do you think? Should I do, 
Should I do a tight five at the mothership? I think uh, Rogan would have me. Hey, where'd you go, Mum? Ask the feisty to dance. Okay, Kat, we're doing it in cruises. We're doing a cruise in 12 days. The maiden voyage of the Forenzi. I just want to see what was on the menu at Renee's. Renee's? They have escargot. Yeah, how many dollars is that? It's the same as uh, uh, my name. Too many is the answer. There we go. I can do a one minute show at Kill Tony, yeah. I gotta go to Joe Rogan's club in Austin and do a tight five. Do a what? Do a tight five. That's what us comedians, stand ups, you know? Little tight five. There Does you that go. mean five minutes of fun? Five minutes of tight jokes. Not, not loose. Gotta, gotta really tighten them up. <laughs> also, we got a feisty, Mum. Certified feisty. What do you think, Mum? Scale of one to ten on feistiness? Where do you put the feistiness? Yes. One to ten? She was here last year. She was the one you were talking to. She was the one you were talking to. I don't think so. Yeah. Really? I don't think so. Yeah. I think it would be awesome. And then I'd be rich and famous. Everything I always wanted to be.
how the Pisces like to dance with the Dos Equis. Stay wasted, my friends. You're only two bees away from all of them looking hot. All of them looking hot. I think I'm three AMFs away from that. <laughs> no, no, not three bees. Three AMFs. <laughs> I was about to make a joke. Mum would not approve of. What? I was going to make a joke that you wouldn't approve of. <laughs> The problem is, all right, here's the joke. You ready for this? <laughs> Put my bee down. The problem is you got, you got bee goggles. They go that way. The more attractive feisties look, the more booze you get. The problem is you also got, you got whiskey dick coming in this way. So whiskey dick comes in, bee goggles come in. They intersect right in the middle. It's a bad spot to be. You gotta figure out right before you go, right before the intersect it, between the egg goggles and whiskey. Thing. That's the sweet spot right there, that's the dingo spot right in there. That's a lot, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, great day. That thing was huge. The size of a pony.
Get five days back. <laughs>
de Cuba. Gracias, Miguel Darín de Cuba. Left it. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesse King. Oh. Okay, I think we're gonna call that an art. There we go. That's it. So this is our only third night out here since we started the season. And thank you so much for coming out. Look at how wonderful to be out in the patio with everybody that we know and the great friends. And of course, visitors coming to join us. Thank you so much. We've been performing this patio for 11 years. Yeah. With the music of Spain and flamenco. <coughs> We're going to do a little something traditional flamenco called Bolivias. Yeah. Oh.
on in Dingo Lou, Tilly and Vance, in particular Tilly and Vance, thank you so much, we could not do it without you. The Senior Feisties are back, so stay tuned, next week more Senior Feisties, and a couple of not Senior Feisties showed up, that, that never happens, no, Feisties, that way, yeah, not too Senior, okay, later mate, see you in... Sedona, Sedona, and then Vegas, something Next like week? something like that. Next week, next week, and then Vegas, something. Oh yeah, then Vegas, and then the, the, the cruise. There we go, later, mates. Thank you once again, Vance. There we go, Vance Grady. Thank you so much, and Tilly. Thank you so much. Thank you both so much for keeping the lights on at Dingo Lou. I hope my radiator is still attached to the car. I don't know. Do I have zip ties? I need more zip ties. Later, mates! There's nothing a zip tie can't do, you know. Zip ties are holding my entire car together. Thank you for the good people at Zip Ties Industries. Later, mates.